What's up everybody, welcome back to Tuesday's Drift Nick. Hey, this week we want to talk about Decentraland because in the NFT video, a lot of people ask us, hey, go explore Decentraland and so, let's get to it. Okay guys, so let's first start out with a brief introduction. So what exactly is Decentraland? I'm going to share this video with you. What if you could own the virtual world? Create, develop and trade without limits. Make genuine connections and earn real money. Decentraland. Decentraland. An immersive platform powered by the blockchain. Buy land. Design your experience. Oh, yo. And transform the way people see the world. Purchase the first ever virtual real estate. Get started today. So this video is like an introduction video that I got online and it serves a very good purpose to tell you that Decentraland is basically a virtual world and it's a land that has commercialized and enables people to actually go and buy stuff, build actual stuff on real estate and more than that, it immerses you as an avatar to go in and even buy stuff, interact with people. I'll give you all the intricate details in a short bit. Let me give you the definition first by this article from Lifestyle Asia. It says here, this is all you need to know about Decentraland and land acquisition. So it basically began with a pixelated 2D grid where users could use to buy pixels and grow into an experience. Now it's 3D. It's built on the Ethereum blockchain. So Decentraland is already decentralized and you can see people create their own micro worlds after they bought a plot of land on it with virtual trees, aircraft and very much more. So to understand this, it's like a virtual reality game. So I think for guys who grew up in the 90s, I think your very first taste of this would be something like uh, RuneScape right or sims these kind of games where you can immerse yourself into a, a 2d world online but this is very much 3d already i think for the newer generation the people with the tic yeah the gen z right you all know this kind of setup more like a minecraft setup so it's like a cross between minecraft and sims a little bit of background is decentraland was originally built and designed in the year 2000 and fast forward to the year 2020 decentraland now consists of more than 90,000 plots of land, parcels of land, and each of them are unique. These are sold as non-fungible tokens, right, on the Ethereum blockchain. So let's dig deeper and find out how much this has grown. So the central land has been gaining large optimistic view prospects of the metaverse boom. Indeed, it's up to 400% this month and has gained an interest of some top-end crypto investors. Indeed, in our last video, we covered that uh, celebrities are all jumping onto the bandwagon. I'll tell you why, because there's a very real application for them. To the extent of popularity, of big name artists like Paris Hilton coming online, JJ Ling Jun Jie, Justin Bieber is doing online concerts. So you can see why. It's really because I think the travel bands have united the world on this virtual space. So let's check this out. The company said in a Twitter post on Monday that the very first Metaverse Festival took place on October 21 to 24 and was a huge success. So this thing took place not too long ago. It was in October. So it's a four-day concert or festival. The attendees were more than 50,000 virtual attendees and there were more than 11,204 unique digital non-fungible tokens. Uh, claimed and the company also said that it gave out 51,947 proof of attendance protocols in the form of NFTs to participants. So this means that more than 51,000 people actually attended the thing. This is the first ever Metaverse Festival and it's one for the record books. Indeed, it's quite sick. Uh, imagine more than 50,000 people turn up to a concert. It's more like it's more like a, a festival. It's like Zukao. Zukao got how many people go? Huh? Anyway, the 4-Day Festival is a celebration of music, culture, creativity, and virtual social world. It makes sense because, dude, where are you going to go now? Lock the doors, we're on full quarantine! So they even have future collaborations with Gucci and to host digital fashion shows. So it's getting very crazy, the space is very hot. Anyone who wants to garner a very strong audience um, on the virtual space with digital currency that's ready to trade and spend immediately, that's already stabilized in current day market, is moving towards. Uh, Decentraland and, and I can understand why because the Metaverse Group, a subsidiary of Tokens.com bought a major piece of virtual real estate worth 618,000 mana. That's the equivalent of 2.428 mil. According to Decentraland, it's the most costly part of virtual land ever purchased on the platform. The land is apparently located in Fashion Street on Decentraland which is considered a very hot region. The area will supposedly host major digital fashion events with world famous brands like Gucci. Oh, yo. 
Okay, let's find out how it works. Land in decentralized land can be bought using a cryptocurrency known as MANA, which is in itself completely decentralized. So in fact, the transactions within the virtual land are all done with MANA. So you can trade freely MANA in top to shop for land, estate, avatar, items. So I'm going to show you here. You click this link and it brings you into uh, the marketplace which we are at right now. So if you will see my screen, we are at collectibles. You can, you can click the sub tabs to go to land, partners, my assets, my bids. We're not signed in because Nick Tan hasn't created an account. I'm just exploring and uh, all this is our intern's good research. But I'm very keen. I'm very interested in what's going on here in this space. Check it out. You got apparels. What is this? Santa boots going for three mana. Wallah, wait. Christmas X Ray region. I don't know. Green Santa hat. So you got all kind of funny, funky avatars going over here. Then let's go to the land one. This is the most interesting part. Check it out. So this is Genesis Plaza. You start off over here, and I think a lot of people uh, basically like to buy these green squares. These squares are the plazas. So imagine uh, when you log in into this virtual world, you have to spawn from somewhere. You will always, newcomers will always spawn from the plazas, which is like towns, if you can imagine or, or understand how games are usually built. So a lot of people just like conventional real estate will start to invest in the city centers, the huts, right? Where the infrastructure is probably the strongest because you can really start to see that there's infrastructure going around uh, in the areas. You can see all the usernames and the owners here, right? If you just click into one of the plots, then into that location, it will tell you, oh, there are 380 land plots available and how much do they cost for? 509 mana and then Look at this. These are the plots. Longitude, latitude, right? So you can choose. And then if you want to bid, you can. If you want to jump in, jump in actually takes you into the central land where, well, this is the login page. You can, if you already have a wallet, you can hook up and you can go inside, create an account. If not, you can play as a guest. But mind you, please use Chrome or Firefox. I am currently on Mac. So it will or might take ages, might lag a little bit. So please use the preferred platforms. So you can even buy, huh? Celebrities' names eh. NFTs have been issued. If you want the name Little John, then check it out. Little John's name is going for 100,000 mana. How much is that in Sing? Let's do the conversion. Bro, it's 440,000 Sing. If you want to call yourself Little John on Decentraland, you need to pay 440,000 Sing. Hey. Uh, help me to list, Nick Tan. You can sell anything. Sell, sell, sell me this fucking pen right here. Anyways. That's not all Decentraland is good for. There is even a gaming mechanism or economy in Decentraland and um, check this out. There is a casino called Tominoya Casino and it allows participants to play roulette, blackjack with mana. They have virtual casino nights with live DJ music. And I think they also have, um, what is this? A play to earn structure, check this out. There is a play to earn structure over here where you wear apparels uh, dress up, come in and play. You can play to win, you know, a thousand USD for first place. Down here, you can see a description going on. Then they've even stipulated there will be a 15 USD airdrop every five minutes in a randomly selected area for active players in mana and die. So, bro, this play to earn thing is getting pretty hot. They incentivize you to play their games online virtually. So this is definitely going to bring in a draw. Now, let's look at the functionality of this thing. So if you want to play Ice Poker, please use a Google Chrome browser and I think you need to install the Chrome extension and this is the way you can get started. The link is over here. We'll leave it in the description for you. So aside from buying land uh, and playing casino game, you can also go and visit the virtual art galleries, which is very interesting. So Super Rare Museum of Art is one of the art galleries you can find displaying world-renowned paintings that have been traded in or on Super Rare. The alternative to actually create digital venues for digital art is really quite ingenious. So I can see really why the application is there and why people are shifting their focus. So if you're a racing fan up next, you can also play Better Races in Decentraland. So Better Races is a Decentraland based racing game uh, developed by Altitude Games. And in this game, you can pick any cars. I took a look at this and it looks like a, a small Crash Bandicoot course and you know, you can basically select your avatar, buy stuff, dress up your avatar, buy your car, turn your car, change the tire lah. Okay, let's talk about the land. This is what we are almost most interested in because this I think has the largest conversion in terms of real estate lah. 
one particular plot or one particular location that I think that we would start our research from is really Genesis Plaza, which is the ultimate hangout place for users. So this specific location has a lot of traffic and people interacting compared to other places. So JJ Lin in the last video bought a plot of land in here. So I would say that it's, it's definitely a place to be. Why would they start to invest in this kind of locations? You can basically build shops, you can build auditoriums, you can build art galleries for digital developers. You can, this is the thought that struck my mind when I was looking through this material is, you can basically build projects and test traction towards it. Let's say I want to build three small apartments and then I want to test out in terms of architecture and I want to test out in terms of facing, so on and so forth. We can actually test with a live audience attract people come in have a look if they buy and they take up then obviously it can translate to a real life location and uh, this could be realistic applications which are not just simulations these are really in the market and they trade for real money so yeah i think it's quite interesting uh, but more than that why do people really want to go to these places like the conventional rules of real estate it has to be location 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 it has to be a place where people actually want to go there for a specific purpose say entertainment for one uh, another one is well largely this is social interaction and entertainment this is the big draw as of now so i think maybe it could be another way for people to interact online in a space i don't know there are, are there real live facial expressions and stuff like that that might develop into the cgi maybe we are doing our own due diligence so if you're really about to invest in decentraland then please do so yourself right now nick tan is going to check it out